It's one thing to cruise around a track in a brand new Beamer, flying off ramps and drifting through turns. But what if you could thwart that pesky Ford who won't stop ramming into your bumper with a well-placed landmine? And what if you were given a tangible reward for pulling off such a dastardly feat? Blur is an exhilarating racing experience because of the absolutely relentless pace of the action. The smooth driving is good enough to build an entire game around, but when you throw in deadly power-ups and an addictive reward system, it's incredibly difficult to put this exciting racer down. Blur has a meaty career mode. There are nine separate sections with seven different races, each culminating in a battle against a mean-spirited boss. Your main objectives are broken down to three distinct categories, racing, destruction, and checkpoint. Though there isn't a ton of variety in your challenges, you'll never want for excitement. Going toe-to-toe -to -toe with up to 20 other drivers in race mode is fast and freeing. Pushing the pedal to the limit is an incredible rush, and peppering your opponents with missiles and landmines to litter the track satisfies that sadistic streak buried deep down inside. The checkpoint challenges are just as explosive thanks to the smooth driving controls. Weaving around corners and nabbing clocks to increase your time feels just right, though the drifting mechanics are a little tricky to get a hang of. You'll find yourself slamming into walls until you master this move, though you can always switch to a grippy car which doesn't rely on the drift nearly as much. Destruction mode shifts your focus to pure battling, making you pelt your foes with missiles to increase your points and halt that quickly diminishing clock. To earn the right to face the boss in each section, you must complete a series of objectives. Some of these come from the normal course of driving, such as slamming into drivers with your nitro boost, but others take a bit of strategizing. Knocking someone into the water or maintaining 120 miles per hour for an entire lap are not easy, but just trying to complete these is a lot of fun. And even if you keep failing over and over again, you'll still be rewarded for your troubles. Every action you perform in the game is counted. Every time you pass a driver, nail them with a missile, use a shield to block an attack, or anything else you do on the track is tallied up and when you pull off enough of these specific moves, you get a prize, such as a new car or passive modifications. This system constantly keeps you coming back for more and makes losing less disheartening and winning carries with it even greater rush. There are also fan-based challenges that can be activated during the course of the action. In every race, you can trigger a series of checkpoints that you can drive through to earn more fans. There are also specific goals, such as reaching a set speed or hitting an opponent while drifting, that you only have a few seconds to accomplish once it's activated. These activities keep you engaged every second of every race, forcing you to constantly push yourself to perform actions you may not otherwise attempt. Unfortunately, you can only rank up to level 25 in single player, and you'll reach that ceiling long before you complete every challenge. Despite the excellent driving you see in this video, Blur is a difficult game. The opponents are quick to attack and eager to shove you off the road. The rearview mirror is paramount to your success. You can counter a heat-seeking missile by swerving at the last second, or destroying it with your own attack, and it's also a lot of fun to line up a backward shot on an approaching enemy. The computer is punishing in the beginning, but once you get a handle on the controls and keep your aggression levels high, you shouldn't have too much trouble coming into first. The real challenge lies in completing the alternate objectives, so finishing the entire campaign should take quite a few hours. The multiplayer mode is full of the same fast driving, explosive combat, and addictive reward system as the single player experience. In the beginning, you have only access to a few different modes, but once you put in a few hours, every different race type opens right up. You can battle against friends in an everything goes extravaganza, take power ups away completely and focus just on driving, or try to destroy everyone in circular arenas. Luckily, you can rank up all the way to level 50 in multiplayer, which will keep you coming back over and over for more. There is some lag at times, but the races are usually fast and smooth. The split screen option isn't nearly as exciting as playing online, though. The rearview mirror is taken out, you can't go online to battle other players, and the persistent elements have been stripped away completely. After spending hours leveling up in single and multiplayer, Playing split screen without any sort of rewards just feels lame.
Good thing there are plenty of ways to experience Blur other than the perfunctory split screen mode. Blur is a fast and exciting racing game. Driving around these courses is a thrill, and the power-ups and reward systems make a good thing incredibly difficult to put down. As fun as Blur is, there are some slight issues still. Drifting is stiff and difficult to master, making it much easier to play as a grippy car, especially early on. And the tight level cap in single player puts an end to the flow of rewards a bit too soon. But these small problems won't keep you away from the constant fun of Blur.